moving on to our next speaker. Faith Abano is a seasoned media sales practitioner, having marketed various advertising and media platforms for 20 years. The company she leads, Celestial Media, represents VIEW, the beloved Korean drama platform, Liga Agarna, the premier esports tournament for women in the country, as well as various cinemas nationwide. Her years in the industry has exposed her to various media platforms, from traditional to digital. She served as the Philippine Marketing Association president in 2019 after heading projects for the youth and academe as well as the industry recognition Agora Awards. She is also part of the Board of Trustees of the Marketing Institute of the Philippines. She serves as the PH representative to the Asia Marketing Federation. She believes that each one of us is a channel blessing and a channel of miracles. An entrepreneur and media sales practitioner, Let's join her as she talks about leading volunteers. Lessons from the front. Streaming live from Makati City, Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, Faith Abanyo. Hi everyone, it is such an honor to be in front of you, to be in your screen right now and uh, to talk to you about, for about 10 or 15 minutes or so of my thoughts on certain things that are, that actually can add to our, the whole, the totality of our femininity. These are such inside, exciting times, especially for us women and for us Filipinos. And this afternoon, I would like to talk to you about a special kind of people special kind of people who are giving, kind, and the storehouse of energy. And I've had the privilege of being one, and I've had the privilege of leading them. And that is a volunteer. But before we get into that discussion and the lessons that I have learned along the way, let me describe or let us define what is a volunteer. A volunteer is someone who spends precious time and effort without getting anything turn. So precious time and effort that precious time that you could actually just have spent with your family, you know, making memories with your loved ones and making sure that you are bonded and close or that time that you cannot get back anymore. It also involves effort, effort that you could have used for more financially lucrative endeavors, or it could be effort that you choose not to spend at all, you know, by resting or binging on your K-dramas, watching Gong Yu or Park So Joon, and, um, or maybe just putting your feet up and thinking about life and the world itself. But when we say volunteering, it always evokes the concept of spending that precious time and effort for something bigger than ourselves. Maybe a cause, a crisis solution, a ministry, and advocacy, or something that makes us go beyond ourselves and the square boxes that we define as our home or our office. My experience as a volunteer has been through industry work, as well as ministry, religious, and social civic endeavors. And that is where I will be coming from today. That is where my lessons will be coming from today. Leading youth teams to industry working committees and associations for a number of years has made me realize how much allocating this precious time and spending valuable effort goes beyond ourselves. So here are the lessons that I have learned as I navigated leadership roles in volunteer teams. And surprise, surprise, they are more of self-discovery rather than leading others. So let's go. Lesson number one. Each and every one of us is designed to go beyond ourselves. Designed to go beyond ourselves, thus volunteers are driven by the bigger purpose, the bigger picture. So always keep that bigger picture at the forefront. Keep on talking about it. It's what drives the team. The energy that the bigger picture gives will extend to everyone. You know, another reason to keep on talking about the bigger picture is that you will never know who it will touch. You will never know whose heart is ready to serve and just waiting for a call to get out of their comfort zone. I believe that each one of us, each and every one of us, 
is waiting for a call and each and every one of us is waiting to be excited by a bigger picture. Imagine, imagine if that was your call. Imagine if that was your advocacy. And if they do come, allow them to run with the idea. Give them the space to expand what they can do. So that's lesson number one. Keep the bigger purpose. Lesson number two, people want connection. Yes, volunteers are led to your organization by lesson number one, the bigger purpose. But they stay because they have connected with the energy of the people in the team. Volunteers want to see the concretization of this purpose in the people that they have come and connected with. After all, this is still a human endeavor. It is very important to persevere in cultivating a culture of openness and inclusivity, a culture where each and every endeavor and contribution is important and each step toward a goal is celebrated. It is important to encourage friendships. In real life terms, you know, the more friends one has in the team, the more events and meetings are attended and the more things get done, diba? What I also found is that people are very willing to share their network, their network in support of the work ahead. They bring with them not just themselves and not just their interests, but the connections that they have built from the past. Imagine how powerful that is. And those are your first two lessons. The bigger purpose, number one, and number two, people want connection. Let's talk about lesson number three. Expand the team, expand the heart. Always be in search for new teammates. There will always be a lot of work to be done and, you know, life happens. There will be a lot of times when personal matters, business, employment concerns, academic concerns will trump the will to serve. But, you know, that's okay. Keep at the mission. Trust that what has been planted in their hearts will draw them back. Trust in the bigger picture. And when they are ready to come back, welcome them with so much warmth that they will hit the ground running. And because you have expanded your team, the weight of the work is less and the pressure, the pressure to perform is distributed. So that's lesson number three. So lesson number one is the bigger purpose. Keep that in front of you. Number two, people want connection. And number three, expand the team, expand the heart. Fourth is my favorite realization and my favorite lesson of all. People want dreams. I learned that people don't just have dreams. They want dreams. They want to see vividly how something small can be transformed to something bigger how their dream can be fused with others. And in turn, this allows them to wish and dream for bigger things. I realized, and hear this out, I realized that we are all a network of dreams for a brighter future. A network of dreams for a brighter and bigger future. And because of this, I also found that my dreams were becoming bolder, fueled by the collective energy of volunteers. You know, another thing that grows in this particular circle is trust. You start trusting other people with your dreams. Isn't that wonderful? You start trusting other people with your dreams. So we have four lessons. The bigger purpose, people wanting connections, expanding the team so you could expand your heart, and people wanting dreams. Let's go to the fifth. Leading volunteers is a way to empowering oneself. When I started raising my hand to do volunteer work for the different groups I was involved in, all I wanted to do was learn new ways and learn new things outside of my box. Of course, I wanted to make new friends along the way. But I realized when I think about it now, especially when preparing this talk, I got something more. I found a voice 
And I found that I'm capable of more things that I give myself credit for. I think there are two things and two thoughts that destroy or hinder leadership in this aspect. One is the negative thought, and I believe that this has been, this has been touched on here today. The negative thought that one is not enough. This thought, admittedly, can creep into one's mind and thoughts as any one of you might weigh in on taking the challenges of leading volunteers. But let me tell you, let me tell you, volunteers are the most kind, the kindest people. They are supportive and eager to see people around them succeed. Hindi sila bashers. Why? Because they know it's not about the person. But lesson number one, the purpose. So I tell you, when those thoughts creep in, vanquish them, slay them. Girl, you're enough. And another thought that would hinder your leading volunteers would probably be the opposite, that you are more than enough, that it is about you and about your ideas. You know, you may be the best in expressing the big idea. You may be the most eloquent, but the big idea is about the collective. If it were about you, then, you know, just hire people, pay them. Remember this, we are placed in this world, in this earth, to be channels of blessing. Wherever you are, you are meant to be a channel of blessing. All the dreams and aspirations in every volunteer's heart are placed there by a God who fires up our belly. All these dreams that we all have are a manifestation of our Creator's big love, big, big love that we can experience in various ways. The blessing is our God's gift. We are but channels of blessings. So five lessons. The bigger purpose, keep that in front of you. People want connection. Expanding the team to expand the heart. People want dreams. And leading volunteers is a way to empowering oneself. So I say this, for anyone thinking, should I volunteer? Or better yet, if you are already volunteering, should I lead in this volunteer activity? The answer, obviously, is a resounding yes. Why? Let me circle back to my earlier definition of a volunteer. We said that it is someone who spends precious time and effort without getting anything in return. But as you see from my discussions and from some of the five lessons that I have given you, it's not true. Not true at all. You get so much more in return, much more than you would expect and much more than your heart can hold. You get friendships. You get validations. You get a platform for improvement in your professional life and in your personal life. You get a circle where you can refine your ideas and beliefs. You get a safe space where you can discuss and grow your dreams. Now, why are we talking about this in a woman's forum? Let me tell you, because women are the first dreamers for others. When they find a life in their belly, they are the first to dream of the kind of life that that child deserves. They are the first volunteers. They volunteered their body to be the house of another life, to be the house of another dream. So go, go and raise your hand. Raise your hand so high. Raise your hand so high and lead volunteers. I am telling you, the rewards are worth it. And to all of you women out there, may you all grow as you volunteer. And may you all be catalysts of dreams as you lead them. My name is Faith Abano. God bless all of your dreams.